Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we've got another LEGO Marvel Avengers video for you. This one happens to be some more DLC from the season pass, the Masters of Evil story. That's right, we're going to go ahead and uh, check out some cutscenes. We're going to get through this level, get a couple of trophy achievements, one for completing the level, a sticky situation, and one for getting the true Avenger requirement, which is 55,000, and that one's called Worthy of a True Zemo. And uh, as you can see on the right, no mini kits, and we do not freely. We are going to come back and get those in free play. But uh, for now, we're going to go ahead and take off into space. Note the gold bricks, too. We got uh, one for completing the level and one for the true Avenger. But uh, we're headed up to the Masters of Evil. If you downloaded it, you should see it. And oh, shh, cutscene. The most powerful bonding agent known to man. Only I, the brilliant Baron Zemo, could conceive of using it to bring the meddlesome Avengers to a sticky end once and for all. Joining my clingy crusade was a gruesome grouping of super criminal cohorts. Radioactive Man, Black Knight, and the mysterious Melter. Together, we formed the Masters of Evil. Soon the Avengers' fate would be sealed. My agents had done well to hide the adhesive X canisters in the city. All that was required now was to find and activate them. I was certain that the Avengers would try to stop us. All right, we've gained control of our enemies or our villains here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and switch on over to the Melter. Uh, and you saw us smash that first car that had some glowing bits in it. And uh, we're going to go ahead and use the Melter to target and destroy that silver block at the bottom of that car there. And that gives us access to the first Adhesive X canister. And we're going to go ahead and walk up to it with uh, the Melter or um, Baron Zemo seeming to be the guys you need to use for those. But uh, yeah, anyways, we're going to go ahead and activate it. And that's the first of four we need to activate. Now, I kind of walk around and check out the area, do a few butt slams. Make note of these boxes here, too, on the right-hand side. Ooh, radioactive, man. This guy's pretty awesome. He has all sorts of abilities, including heat, ray, and the ability to walk through sludge. And also, it says he can withstand Thor's hammer, even, too. So we use him in the battle later. Shh, spoiler alert. Don't want to talk about that too much. Um, all right, so like I said, make note of these boxes over here. We'll come back to those in just a minute. And uh, all right, so there are a few things going on here. There is some free play items over on the right. I thought for sure this gold thing would give us some studs at the very least. Oh, and it does. It gives us a mini kit. Run! As you guys know, we don't ever get the uh, mini kits in the story these days. We did in the early, early days, but not anymore. But uh, as it would be, we did need to use the heat ray to melt some gold. But it wasn't that statue of Captain America back there. It was actually the sign over here on the, the, the buildings, and we're gonna go ahead and rebuild those pieces down below into a turn switch, push switch, blah, 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 goes Baron. But the camera pans up and then gives us the important little, uh, the little hint there that we need to jump up and bounce on this little awning here, which gets us up to this scaffolding, which takes us to a ladder, which gets us all the way to the rooftop. Holy cow, that was a lot of this to that to that to this. And once on top, we actually have another Adhesive X container. Just go ahead and follow the uh, indicated icon, the arrows, for us. Uh, it might be different for you. In fact, I'm pretty sure it will be different, but it, you might get lucky. And uh, once you get that second one done, it actually cues off Iron Man, and he drops in, and all of a sudden, we're on the ground. That was kind of crazy. But, uh, yeah, we got a little battle. It's the rule of three again. He's got three hearts, and uh, he shoots lots of rockets at us while... The old beat cops take us from the street here, and uh, we take those guys out and keep getting shot. And I don't know how many times I die here. It's pretty redonkulous, though. But uh, it doesn't matter. I still get enough studage by the end of this to get that true Avenger. Or as uh, Stan likes to say, Excelsior. All right, two hearts down. Iron Man then gets his blast on and takes out this car over here, which all of a sudden had some glowing bits from inside. But uh, luckily for us, he destroys that car, and we can rebuild those. Oh, boy, that was quick. Quick, fast. That was like pew. 
But uh, we build it up into this weird, it's like a rocket return shooter. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's like a Bazooka Joe tube. I don't know. Anyhow, it's shooting rockets everywhere. It's blowing up all sorts of stuff, including it takes down Iron Man, and he runs off in Tony Stark form. And uh, we actually now have two more of those Adhesive X containers to find. And I don't know where they are. No, I'm just kidding. I know where they are. Uh, there are some bluesies over here in the front left corner. You might want to go ahead and grab those. If you've got the stud multiplier red bricks on, you probably don't have any need for any extra studded. You probably already have the true Avenger requirement. But uh, you might have noticed that the rocket shot off the... Uh, there was like a little uh, piece of grating or uh, something that was blocking that cracked wall. We went ahead and used Radioactive Man to bust our way through it and climb the ladder and flip that switch at the top of it. That brings down this nice little elevator here with... Which, uh, once you hop on with one character, the other three conveniently hop on, and we get a nice little lift to the top. So, all right. Now, over on the right-hand side up here, you notice we probably we can't get through on the left. If we had a flying character, we could probably fly around that uh, big cafe sign there. But we need to switch to a character with the silver brick-breaking ability. So, we pull out uh, the old melter here, and he gets the job done on the right. But uh, all of a sudden, we need a grappler. And it turns out the old, uh, what is it, the Black Knight. That's right, he's got a grapple hook, so we're going to go ahead and spam, 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 spam. And we rip that grapple hook off, and it removes the power. It's kind of funny because it kind of shows the power going to it rather than going away. Didn't it look like it overloaded the circuit rather than took it away? <laughs> I don't know. Kind of funny. Ooh, look at that. He's jousting. He's a, he's a pogo and. But yeah, you can see here, I remember earlier I said you couldn't use certain characters. I don't know why you can't use the Black Knight. Apparently he doesn't have the techno powers. And uh, look at that, I actually got it wrong. I actually got a little button happy is what happened. I didn't get it wrong. I pressed the right button sequence. I just pressed it too fast. It was too fast for it to comprehend. No, I don't know. I think that's what happened. But uh, let's go back to the jouster and see if we can joust our way off the top. Pogo from the top flow. All right, we can see we've got uh, one of us had the ability. It looks like Radioactive Man has the electricity ability. That's nice. He can go ahead and pump, 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 pump it up. But that's going to be uh, something we take on in free play as it is not related to the story. But look at me. Woohoo! Yeah, and see, you can see there, I've got the square button poking up, poking up now, but, ah! See, I couldn't figure out why that was happening, but I thought the Black Knight found something and it was, like, cueing me. Woohoo! Look at that, that was awesome. Uh, but it turns out Radioactive Man was actually standing back by that electric panel back there, so... That is why it popped up. Kind of a weird game bug. Not a big deal, nothing to worry about, but uh, we're back on the ground now, and we're smashing beat cops like no tomorrow, which I definitely don't recommend doing that in realsy, for realsies. Ooh, look at that. There's Mr. Stan Lee floating atop of that little, uh, yeah, look at that. Wee! He's dancing, dancing, dancing. All right, we've got one last adhesive X canister needed, and, well, where, where do you suppose it is? Well, I got a hint for you. All of a the sudden, there is some scan bits over here, kind of floating around on the left side of the next little street corner here. We're going to go around the street. Yep, down the way. Look at that. On the left-hand side, you can see them. I, I Honestly, I didn't see them at first, so I thought, all right, it's got to be something related to this telekinetic ability over here. But nope, that's going to be some mini kit. Well, it probably is a mini kit. My guess is we're going to shake it up. And it's going to drop a bunch of pieces. We're going to rebuild those into a mini kit. Who knows? Maybe it's like a quick boost pad or something. But uh, anyhow, we finally see that there is the scan point over on the left-hand side over at the telephone booth. We get our scan on and it actually reveals another grapple hook. So we're going to go ahead and switch back to the Black Knight. And, oh, look at that. Booyakasha! We got that 55K required. And we do now have the true Avenger status. And we're going to go ahead and get our grapple on. We're going to rip that down, and it kind of flips it back. It's, it kind of reminds me of the old, um, uh, what was that show called? Uh, get Smart. There we go. Da, da, da. I totally had the music in my head. I couldn't think of the show, though. But Get Smart, remember, he used to go into the old uh, telephone booth, and instead of, like, you know, changing, like, Superman or whatever, he would go down to the ground. Like, I don't know if that's homage to, like, the old days or not. Probably not probably related to something related to the masters of evil which i know very little about but all right we found a little uh, scan terminal here except for instead of a shield terminal it was a hydra terminal and uh, you got to get uh, the right character for that we, we tried to scan it with the black knight and it was like nah. 
But uh, once you get the right scan, it reveals uh, a spot up top here where you have to break off some silver bricks. So we will switch back to the melter, tossed up some of his grenades, and uh, we rebuilt the pieces into this crazy little lift, air lift here thing. And uh, that's right, air here, lift here thing. That's right, that's what I said. And I uh, can't always spit it out right, my bad. Anyways, we got all the way up here <laughs> through the uh, air lifter here thing there here. And we go ahead and press the right icons indicated. And Thor comes in and swings his mighty hammer. And all of a sudden we've got another battle, but this time it's with Thor and a few of the local beat cops. But uh, all right, so we, uh, a rule of three again, we give him the old pal right in the back of the kissa. And he flies up and basically is just kind of flexing his muscles right now, trying to act all tough and scary. And I got to admit, it's not really, oh, yep, yeah, it's, it's working now. I changed my mind. I was not intimidated, but all this lightning raining down, that's, that's, that's a little scary. So uh, we hide over here behind the bicycles, but eventually they disappear, and we realize we got to do something. So we choose Radioactive Man to get up close and personal because we heard earlier uh, Zemo said something about uh, being stronger and able to handle the Mighty Thor's hammer. So we tested it out, and it did not really work in our favor. And then when we ran up and got it close and personal, it switched us to the Melter because he's got the old heat ray to zap him back, and... Uh, we actually get, uh, well, we chased Thor out of here, so now we're kind of confused. Oh, it's cutscene! With the city at its knees, our evil plan became unstuck. Those tricky Avengers had swapped my dastardly glue for Solvent, releasing my captives. Yet I remain undeterred, for I, Zemo, never surrender. It is my destiny to rule, and rule I... Wait, is that a smoke bomb? I'll get you, Avengers! <laughs> Just your wait! Booyakasha! A sticky situation is now ours, as well as a worthy of a true Zemo trophy achievement. Now, that again was for completing the level, as well as getting the true Avenger requirement, which we're about to prove right now! There you go, we got them all, Excelsior! All right, uh, Mr. Lee is still needing to be freed. We'll come back and get him, as well as the remaining mini kits and remaining gold bricks here in a future free play video. But, uh, oh, look at that. It's going to be time to wrap up the old Lego Avengers DLC, The Masters of Evil Story, a Sticky Situation Trophy Achievement. And uh, hopefully you guys found this video a little bit entertaining. I don't know if it was very helpful or not. But uh, either way, if you guys have any questions or comments, or maybe you just want to get involved with some other happy thumbs gamers like yourself head on over to any of our social pages which uh facebook twitter or you could simply comment vote subscribe down below those and more are actually posted down below in our video description we have instagram we have g plus we have what else we got we got twitch we got a few things including happy thumbs gaming.com so check us out we got product and gaming reviews as well as trophy achievement guides i know some of you guys like to print out stuff and check them off or cross them off as you go uh that that's a good way to do it, and uh, we've got guides that are print friendly, well sort of, uh, that you can go ahead and check out, and hey, if you guys have any requests for future games or something like that, let us know. As for me, that's going to do it. As always, until next time. I said that's it. See ya.